Hi everyone, it's Panini. Today I'm going to be using Anna McNulty's tutorial to try and get my needle. So this is what my needle looks like before the stretching routine. As you can see, my leg is not straight at all and even doing this is hurting my back. So the first stretch was just leaning forwards and then arching back. To me, this stretch was really useful for warming up my back because as you can see, when I first started doing it, my back barely bent backwards then at the end it was arching a lot more which is really good. Next there was this shoulder stretch which I already do quite often when I'm stretching out and I find that it's really helpful for warming up your shoulders. Next there are some bridge rocks which I also quite like to do to stretch out my back and shoulders. Next stretch in the tutorial was a bridge and I actually don't really like doing bridges especially like with my legs straight but they are quite helpful for back flexibility so it's a good stretch. Now next there was a downward dog which I really love to do especially when I have stiff calves. Although in this stretch routine the focus was more on pushing your shoulders towards the floor as a shoulder stretch which felt a little bit weird because I didn't really feel much of a stretch in my shoulders there. Now next we did needle kicks which I really like to do and I think they're a great exercise for improving leg flexibility. The next stretch was to hold your leg up in a downward dog whilst arching your back and because I'm not as flexible as Anna this was quite hard for me but it did stretch my legs and back out so it's a really good stretch. The next stretch was a lunge and I personally love lunges because I feel like they're really relaxing but they also give you a really good stretch. Now the next stretch was a backwards lunge which was all good until Anna told us to reach for your back leg which for some reason made me really confused because whenever I tried to do that I just couldn't keep my balance. Then we just held the splits for 20 seconds because it's important to be able to do the splits before trying a needle. So then what we did is arch back in your splits and try and reach your leg which I couldn't do because I'm just not that flexible but this is probably the stretch that helps me the most in getting my needle. Next, there was the door stretch, which I did not like because getting up was painful as heck, but it does sort of help you with your needle, so it's still a pretty good stretch. So the last step of the tutorial was to just pull up into your needle and see how far you can get. So this was my first attempt. As you can see, I pretty much managed to get my legs straight, but... I wasn't engaging my back as I could have been and I didn't look at my leg which looked a bit strange. My second attempt went a lot better because I actually looked at my leg which did sort of ruin my balance a little bit but it helped me engage my back a lot more. That hurts my back so much. No, it does actually hurt my back when I'm in the needle but it really hurts coming down. So in my last attempt, I pulled up into my needle like how I would normally, but then when I straightened my leg, I tried to overextend my splits into an overextended needle. This worked pretty well, apart from the fact that my shoulders sort of started twisting a little bit, which I'm pretty sure you're not meant to do, but my needle itself was a lot better and I don't think I've ever felt this flexible before. The outro. So here is the before and after comparison of my needle. As you can tell these stretches helped me so much to get my needle and in the before when I was not stretched out at all my leg was really bent so it wasn't really a needle, it was more just like a scorpion. In the after though you can see that my shoulders aren't square which is something that I need to work on because I'm pretty sure that in a needle it's better if your shoulders are sort of like in one line and not one just like sticking out randomly. I really liked all the stretches that Anna gave us because I liked how they weren't just like, okay, let's do a lunge, let's do a bridge. She sort of also incorporated stretches that were both leg stretches and back stretches. For example, I liked the downward dog where you have to get your leg up and arch your back a bit. And I liked the splits with the arching back and like trying to reach your leg, which I couldn't do. But, you know, we'll work on that. The door stretch. Okay. Um, I have mixed feelings about the door stretch because it's painful. And I did not like getting up into the door stretch because I couldn't just like get my body like that. Because I felt like I didn't have enough space between my legs and the door. So I had to sort of go around and it was really awkward. But the actual stretch was quite helpful. So I do understand why she put it in there. Overall, this tutorial helped me a lot with my needle and I'm really happy with the results. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you're struggling with your needle. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more gymnastics and tumbling related videos, then feel free to subscribe down below and follow my Instagram and TikTok accounts linked in the description because I post tumbling content on there literally every day. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!